am back with another video for you today. And today I will be filming a things to know before your first semester of college. The first thing is that night classes are very stressful. If you take a night class on your first semester, it's going to be really rough for you. But if you have a job, then I guess it's okay to have a night class. But for your first semester, I recommend that you do not take a night class unless you are committed to have a limited amount of sleep and a lot more study time. The second thing that I have is the school that I go to, if you don't bring your own lunch, um, I recommend bringing at least seven to eight dollars with you and if you're in a different country I don't know how much that would be but um, I recommend just bringing seven to eight dollars with you for food alone for a lunch if you're getting breakfast as well I would bring double that amount or if you want snacks then I'd bring a little more cash with you but seven to eight dollars is the minimum amount that you would need. The third thing that I have is that dead week is actually a week. For dead week, I recommend studying at least a whole week and that will take your time away from you. And even though you want to hang out with friends or you want to just relax and be lazy watching Netflix or doing whatever you want to do, um, I suggest that you put that aside and actually focus on your schoolwork. I don't mean to say stay up late and study into the morning, but it will require coffee, <laughs> vitamins, and just any energy, energy drinks if you drink those. I tend to like, um, caffeinated tea and taking my vitamins better. Dead week is a thing and you need to study for them before your final exam. The next thing is professors expect you to take good notes for lectures. If you don't know how to take good notes, then your possibility of failing an exam is higher than normal. If some professors will slow down and repeat main points, but most professors will just give you slides and expect you to know which are the important parts. So what I'm saying is take good notes and if you are not a good note taker, I recommend either finding a YouTube video or um, finding some strategy class that will help you um, take good notes and learn how to professor lectures. The fifth thing is vitamins, coffee, and caffeinated tea will be your best friend for college. You will have long classes, three to six hour classes, and usually hour classes are two classes combined, so you will have a lecture class for three hours and you will also have a lab class for three hours. So, I recommend bringing some kind of drink or a snack, a snack with you, or and a snack with you. The next thing I have is sleep is precious, especially when it, really when it is limited. So even if it's just two, three hours of sleep, that is still good. The seventh thing I have is having a sleeping schedule and getting enough nutrition will lead to a new journey and a new point in your life that you will struggle with at first, but you will accommodate to it and you will get better and used to the fact that you are going to school longer and you have a longer study period and you will be doing a lot of research on your own. Start early. Start your sleeping schedule early and get into the habit of taking vitamins or drinking some kind of caffeinated tea, I wouldn't recommend 
caffeinated um, substances all the time just when you're studying for a long period of time but I do recommend that you take your vitamins and get some sleep that is the two main important things the next thing is keeping a calendar or planner with you at all times keeping a planner and calendar with you will keep you on task and it will help you in your later life being more organized and being more prepared for class. The next thing, I guess it varies between professors, but at my school, most professors prefer pens instead of pencils. Most professors prefer pens because it makes it easier for them to grade. Pencils tend to make it look unprofessional, so they want it to be more professional by writing in pen and getting used to the writing of pen. Some professors prefer black, some pro professors prefer red, blue, green maybe, but most professors prefer black or red depending on what pen they grade with. Um, when they say write in pen, they usually say Think of me as your coworker or your boss. You don't want to write them in pencil, so you want to write them as professional as possible with penmanship. The next thing I have is most classes have two or three exams before your final. Now, it is completely different from when you're in high school. You have a lot of exams throughout the semester but within the 16 weeks that you're in college, or eight weeks if you're doing a fast track class, you will be doing two to three exams before your final. I recommend studying those exams if you get them back. Other than that, take really good notes and prepare for your final and do not give up. That is the main goal is to not give up until the end. Every professor is different when it comes to grading and turning in assignments, some professors will either go by percentage, they will go by letter grade, or most professors will go by points. So the amount of points that you have per class, some professors will have a thousand points for the whole semester. So every assignment that you have, your points will add up until that grade. A thousand being 100 points. If you have a 900, you will be getting a 90%. 800 is a 80% and the lowest that you want to have is a 70%. So some professors will let you turn in assignments early and just, just to get them done and out of the way so that you don't have to worry about it later. But I've only had one, pers one professor that has done that and it is a little different from most professors, but it is more convenient, especially for the students. But most professors will tell you to just turn them in on time. And also, if it is a late assignment, some professors will say to just turn it in with whatever you have and they'll take five to 10 points off your assignment, which you don't want that to happen. So I recommend getting it done early and taking your time to finish it instead of rushing through and getting it done. And you will have so much more free time. But also some professors, if you have a late assignment, it will automatically be a zero. And like I said, most professors do not let you turn in late work, so be prepared and turn your assignments in on time and you will be stress-free. The next thing is that college is not the social environment that high school was. College is more of a... depending. I guess it depends on which college you go to, but where I go to, it's more... We need to focus on our degree and we need to focus more on studying to get that degree. Focus on what your goal is, short term, long term, and even intermediate goal. 
what are you going to accomplish for this semester? Like I said, everyone is focusing on their degrees and studying a lot more where I am, which is very motivating for me because it's very motivating to me to see how much work people put into their classes and their studies. You want to get out there and prove what your studies and skills have been put to test. Now besides studying and finishing homework and being a hermit all day, just go out for a couple hours to a few hours with friends and family and your mind won't be as stressed as it was when you didn't know a certain problem on your homework or you forgot how this um, this equation worked. But when you get stressed like that, I recommend going out for a few hours and just forgetting about school, forgetting about college life, and have a good time and smile and laugh with people. I'm not say saying be social all the time, but being social once in a while and keeping communication with friends and family it is a good college. thing. College is really different from high school uh, for their social environment because you see people all the time in high school and in college the campus is so much bigger and you won't be able to see them that often. So unless you're hanging out with them after class or after school, then you will more likely to see them then. You will be more likely to see them then. And the last thing that I have for you all is enjoy your first semester as much as you can. Um, once you start this new journey into your life, you will definitely learn a new part of yourself and you will learn what you can and what you can't do. So even with the schedules and studies that you will have, it will be a memorable experience, whether it, it will be stressful or whether it will be exciting. So learning the new things that you don't usually learn in high school, it feels more realistic than high school did because you learn a lot more than you did in high school and what they teach you in high school, you go even further in college. So welcome your young adult life with a smile and Never give up. Push for your dream, your goal, even your career. When you do that, you're opening up a whole new place for you in society, and you will not forget that moment when, when you say, my studies paid off, and my research has paid off, and my degree paid off. So you can do it, and I believe in you, and you should believe in you too. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button, and share this video with friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos of me, and hopefully some collaborations with my friends. For the students still in high school, comment down below which point helped you the most to prepare for college. So thank you all so much for watching this long video and I hope to come back with more videos for you. And I did start my second semester of college recently so I will be a little bit more busy and I won't be uploading as frequently as I would like to but I will be making a video at least every week so if you want to watch those stay tuned for more and I will see you in my next video bye